Now the thing about this is you have to have a screwdriver to take it on and off. I'm from Harlem, New York, so this was like the thing back in the day there. You'd like name jewelry with your earrings with your name on it, rings, belt buckles. I've literally had this since fifth grade. Hello guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before, what's up? So today we are going to be doing a makeup collection video. No we're not. <laughs> today we're going to be doing a jewelry collection video. If you don't know me, if you haven't noticed, if you're new here, I have a jewelry obsession. I'm absolutely obsessed with jewelry. I have been since I was a little girl. My mom used to keep me in like gold bangles and like gold earrings. We're gonna be doing a jewelry collection. I'm gonna show you guys all my jewelry, high end and low end. I got some stuff that is Cartier jewelry, I have Hermes jewelry, and then I have jewelry from Forever 21. So it is a really good balance for everybody. So if you want to see my jewelry collection, then keep watching. Okay, so the easiest way to start this video is to start with the jewelry that I wear on a daily basis. So let's just start there. Just about every single day, I wear my nameplate necklace. This is just a gold nameplate necklace. My mom got it for me for my birthday just this year. Um, when we were younger, okay, look, I'm from Harlem, New York, so this was like the thing back in the day there. You'd like name jewelry with your earrings with your name on it, rings, belt buckles, um, necklaces, all types of stuff with your name on it. So, um, my mama threw it back and I am absolutely obsessed and got me a new name necklace and I love it. I think it's the cutest. And these white gold hoop earrings, I have them. I'll take one off to show you guys. I've been getting them dirty though. I've been getting foundation and stuff on them. They need to be cleaned. But <laughs> these white gold like super cute hoop earrings. They're just basic little hoops. I got these from my mama again. She like my mom buys me so much jewelry cuz she knows I love it. Um I got these from my mama for I want to say maybe Christmas when I was in middle school, either middle school or early high school. And yeah, I really love them because it's like, you know, you're chilling, it's cool, but then you push your hair behind your ears and it's like, oh, cute little hoops. Obviously, I just have a nose ring. What's funny is I like, I forget that I have a nose piercing on a daily basis until somebody says something about it. I like don't remember I have it in at all. Okay, moving on to my favorite type of jewelry, rings. I love rings i absolutely love them rings like i said it's my favorite type of jewelry i think it just is so like cute ah, okay i'm obsessed okay so i'm gonna show you guys the rings that i wear every day all right so um first of all this one this is an eternity band and i this is actually one of my newer pieces of jewelry absolutely in love obsessed Mwah, to die for so cute so yeah, it's just this regular full eternity band. I'm gonna really put y'all on right now. This is from AliExpress. It is sterling silver, um, cubic zirconium. So it's not going to change, it's not going to rust. You can wear it every day, you can wash your hands with it, all that. So yeah. And then on my ring finger, I have two Cartier love rings. Now these bad boys are not from AliExpress. <laughs> you wish um yeah I have two Cartier love rings stacked on this ring finger I have the regular gold one and then the regular silver one these two are the six millimeter ones that I stack on the on the right ring finger Cartier is extremely timeless fine jewelry there's nothing like a Cartier love ring they don't go out of style they are like so they are like so recognized anytime you wear them people are gonna know and they're gonna go oh my god I love your rings and that's a part of the fun with jewelry that I think meeting other people that love jewelry the way that you do and like share your enthusiasm for it is like always so fun so that's why collecting like popular fine jewelry like Cartier is so fun but the thing is Cartier rings 
do scratch easily. Do not get your Cartier Love Ring or Love Bracelet and think that it's not gonna scratch and it's gonna stay smooth and and like untouched forever. No, two days in, the ring is gonna be looking like mine is, but it's okay because good from afar, you know? Now on my left hand, if you like things, you should've put a ring on. On my left hand, I have on this finger, this ring I have had since I was in fifth grade. My mom gave it to me when I was in fifth grade and I have kept it because I'm obsessive. And like I said, my mama gives me a lot of jewelry and I'm very sentimental about the things that my mama gives me. It is this beautiful, like three stone um, ring. The June birthstone, that's purple. That's what's in the middle here. Even though the purple has mostly faded and it looks more clear, like it looks more like a regular clear stone nowadays, but that's okay, it's still beautiful and I love it. I've literally had this since fifth grade. And then on my ring finger, y'all already know what it is. I am married, if you didn't know. So I have um, another Cartier Love Ring. This is the Rose Gold four millimeter. Now these are regular uh, yellow gold and then white gold and the six millimeter. This one is the Rose Gold, or I think they call it pink gold with Cartier, the pink gold four millimeter. So yeah, that's the difference. You see the six millimeter is thicker than the four millimeter is, just by a little. Two millimeters, so obviously it's just by a little. But yeah, I have on that ring here. I just have that ring here. And then this is a Pandora Timeless Elegance ring. And this is actually my wedding ring. Now this is a really inexpensive, um, this is a really like inexpensive ring. And that's just how I like it. I don't feel the need to have some million dollar, hundred thousand dollar fancy ring. Um, maybe it's just not right now. Maybe one day we'll be like that. And then, you know, I'll, I'll ask for an upgrade and Paul will be more than happy to upgrade it. But the story behind this ring is that I was obsessed with this ring when we were in high school still dating and Paul surprised me with it and along with a bunch of other gifts, he's always been so sweet to me. Paul surprised me with it um, and yeah, I'm just in love, obsessed. Ah, so cute. And so it just means a lot to me because I talked about this ring a lot just when we were still dating and then he bought it for me. And then, okay, this is where the real tea is. When Paul and I were still dating in high school, we had broken up for a month. So obviously, what did I do? I was petty. I threw away the ring. Yes, I didn't even sell it. I threw it away. And um, when we got back together, he replaced the ring for me. And I was like... <laughs> so yeah, this is my wedding ring right now. And then as the band, I have the Cartier Love ring four millimeter pink gold if you don't know the cartier love collection um symbolizes like it's supposed to be put on by somebody you love and it's only supposed to be taken off by someone you love so yeah i really like the meaning behind that and that's why it is my my band okay so now on to the last piece of jewelry that i wear on a daily basis obviously my apple watch but like you know but this right here the cartier Love bingle. This is the Cartier Love Bingle in the pink gold or rose gold, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just like I said, this is just this is the same thing as the rings, just in a bracelet form, a bangle form. Now the thing about this is you have to have a screwdriver to take it on and off, and of course I have the screwdriver um, with the original packaging and all that. But yeah, um, you have to have a screwdriver to take it on and off. It will not slide on and off at all. Even if I take the Apple Watch off, it is too small to fit over. So even when I like shower and bathe at night and I take all my rings off, I still have to shower and bathe with this bad boy on because um, it doesn't come off. So this is always, always, always on. Like I said, same with the rings. It's gonna scratch by day two. So I know you spend a lot of money on it. You wanna keep it all nice and so fresh and so clean, clean. But if you're gonna be buying the Love Collection to wear on a daily basis, which most people do, because if you're spending that much money on Cardi and jewelry, you need to be wearing it every day then expect it to scratch a little. Okay, let's move on to all my other jewelry, because it's a lot. So I have been trying to start a funky earring collection, and I'm kind of doing okay. <laughs> let's look, and i like show you guys. But I have some funky earrings so far. First pair, now this, okay, they look like this, but this one I broke somehow, so I have to put a rubber band around it <laughs> so that it sits correctly like her sister. 
because this is what it's supposed to look like a little door knocker tassel these are from H&M I got this in a set on clearance for like two or three dollars H&M clearance jewelry really comes through when you're trying to grow your collection oh crrr. I also have these little yellow tassel door knockers from the exact same little set of jewelry then of course I have um these cute little bad boys this is like a hook and lock like key set of earrings this is just from shh, i'm stuttering this was from shein they were no more than three dollars so 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 flipping cute another piece of jewelry from my mom i got these from my mom um i got these cute little pink hearts that i haven't worn in forever from my mom in maybe sixth grade. Now we're moving on to my favorite pair of earrings ever. I've had these since I was a little girl. And yes, I still wear them. I told y'all we was iced out in the name jewelry. This is real gold, um, real gold name plate earrings. And you know, like you can tell they're real gold because look, when I was younger, I used to bite on them. And if you guys don't know, real gold is like malleable, so you can like bend it, like if you bite on it. That's why when Olympic gold medalists get their medal from like winning gold, they bite it because it'll leave a teeth mark in it. It like proves that it's real gold. Then I have these quirky little face earrings. I don't think I've even worn these before, but um, I got these on Shein. Again, no more than $3. I got these safety pin earrings with cute little cherry decals on them. There we go, y'all can see it now. Cute little cherry decals on them. The little safety pins. I got these super, super, super classy, like long stone earrings. So cute. Obsessed. Have not worn these since prom night. I have these little dream catcher earrings. These are old as heck. Like so old. Start these are like from Charlotte Russe or Forever 21 or something. They're starting to rust. I really need to toss these out actually, but they're still in my collection. Let me tell y'all a sad story. This is the only piece of jewelry that I've ever like lost or like don't have anymore that my mom gave me. So um, my mama gave me these three stone earrings. So, so, so precious. Um, again, real gold, three stone diamond earring. Can y'all see that? Can y'all even see these? I cannot find the other pair. I lost it at some point when I was moving from Maryland to North Carolina, and now I cannot find the other piece, um, like the other set to the earring. I have a bunch of little studs, this pyramid stud, this infinity stud. I have these tiny little, um, tiny little tan tassels. And then like a bunch of other just like random studs in here. Just a bunch of rando studs. And then more hoop earrings than you could ever imagine. Why, look, why do I have this many sets of hoop earrings? What? There are more. I, I just, too many. And then last, I have these big old door knocker earrings. So cute. But like cute for the right occasion you know what i mean i want to save my rings for last so let's do um necklaces next first necklace i'm showing you guys is also from shein cute little lock necklace i wear these with the lock and key earrings all the time because i'm tacky i'm literally like harper from what is a waverly place but i don't care and then i have this cute little face necklace i think i got this from forever 21. next necklace um just this basic but super cute little like one stone necklace i love little necklaces like these and then another one just like that but it's just longer and it looks really good when you layer these two together too my second favorite necklace in the world beautiful necklace is from wish a friend of mine that i work with bought it for me if you don't know what this is this is the cancer zodiac sign constellation necklace they have them on wish for all different signs it's like a dollar or so but i am obsessed and i love it so 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 much this old thing is also from shein it's just like these layered necklaces it's still super cute so it's just sitting in my collection i'll maybe i'll wear it every once in a while now i have um this one necklace from shein with like an M on it. It's an initial necklace. And it's M for Mac, that's my husband's last name. And then I have this cute little thing that just has a bunch of little like stones on it. It's from Forever 21, my sister bought it for me. It's super cute. And then I have this little rose from Shein, but it's turning, so I really don't wear it anymore. Um, 
just this little, it was rose gold, now it is brown and tarnished. <laughs> All right, so like we saw, my Cartier Love bracelet, obviously, and then we have my Alex and Ani bracelets. Let me tell y'all the story behind these. Paul literally bought me eight Alex and Ani bracelets and being the person that I am, I lost all eight of them. I don't know how it happened because I don't play about jewelry. I have replaced four of the eight bracelets so far. I need to just bite the bullet and buy the other four at some point. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys my Alex and Ani bracelets. I had eight of them and I used to wear them all at once because I'm obsessive when it comes to jewelry. Don't play with me. But yeah, um, there is this one that is my birthstone because I'm a cancer and it matches the purple in the ring that my mama got me. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with zodiac signs because it's like, I love being a cancer. And then I have this one that is a crab. I'm sure you can guess why. Yep, because that is my zodiac signs <laughs> animal. Uh, so much of my jewelry revolves around my birthday and my zodiac, I'm just noticing. Next, I have this one that says, I love you to the moon and back. And what's really cute and sweet about this one is that like, Paul picked this out on his own because he just loved me. And then I have a little Dia de los Muertos skull. And then we have my Hermes click clack H bracelet. Um, Hermes link, whoop, whoop, as blue mink. Now, anyone that owns the Hermes uh, H click clack bracelet will tell you that the only problem with this beautiful bracelet is that it opens by itself. This bracelet is too expensive to be this pretty but then be opening by itself. So I was wearing this on a daily basis but then after I've had it for a while it started to open by itself. Now I really don't wear it because see look the H is turning already. The H just turns and then opens by itself. So we already went through all the rings that I wear on a daily basis and have a few more to show you guys. So this first one is a Alex and Ani um, ring but the stones fell out of it and I'm peed off about it still, but I kept the ring because Paul bought it for me. Um, Paul bought me this, ouch, that hurt. If y'all can't tell, Paul buys me a lot of jewelry. Um, Paul bought me this super cute, it was like double ringed and it had two of my birthstone, like I had my birthstone in it, the purple stone for June and both stones fell out. See, I really am very, um, like sentimental it's not all materialistic with me this ring i bought on my first cruise i got it last year when my family went on our very first cruise i'm trying to focus it there we go it's so pretty it's my birthstone again and i just love it it is not sterling silver though so it's starting to like tarnish and i don't like that next we have this beautiful ring that i bought myself actually this one is real. Ooh, girl. This is real. It has a little heart cut diamond. It is the cutest. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. And I used to wear it every single day, but now I don't anymore. Um, I really still should wear it more, but it's just like I'm already wearing so much every day. So yeah. Now we have another ring I got from AliExpress. Um, I bought it at the same time as this one. Um, but this one is not sterling silver, so this will turn, and it does turn your finger, which is why I don't wear this one every day anymore. But this one was only made, this was, they both were under $2. Um, but like I said, this one is sterling silver, not gonna turn, doesn't tarnish, doesn't turn your finger, nothing like that. That was my entire jewelry collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know I have a jewelry addiction. I don't wanna talk about it, mind your business. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you on my Instagram. If I don't see you over on my Instagram, then I will see you in my next video. Bye. Girl, I know you wanna. You know I wanna Yeah, she keep giving me look Hotter than the six in the summer Dead ass girl, I want Girl, I know you wanna